coming back in about 20 minutes. And have one coffee. Hot. 12 Roger on your call. We'll comply. <laughs> Obviously not a good one for us. What's the matter? Ah, uh, your front headlight's out. Just blew. Five minutes ago. Right? M maybe ten. I'll take care of it this afternoon, officer. Yeah, she's pretty cold for a light that just blew. Can I see your license? Out of registration. I uh, left that at home. Left that at home. That's what he said, officer. Requesting DMV check on 5 1. Sergeant Crowley, CCU, Investigator Stiles. John Tyrell, I'm from the Bureau. What happened here? He got hit by the PCU, militant group, calls themselves the People's Combat Unit. Yeah, we've heard of them. Yeah. 223, they're calling cards. Have any idea who was in the van back there? No. We've had one of their safe houses in the neighborhood under surveillance for a week, but I guess this puts an a end week? to that. Yeah. Was our department briefed on this operation? No. Were any locals notified? The whole setup was too fragile. We couldn't risk a security leak. Wait a minute. What you're saying to me is that we got a rookie shot down in the streets just because he didn't know he was working in a minefield? Is that it? I'm sorry, but there's no way to... Tyrell, go ahead, sir. We have somebody holed up in the house, but I think we've been spotted. Attention all occupants of the white frame house. This is the FBI. Throw out your weapons, come out with your hands on top of your heads. You will not be harmed. You're ordered to surrender immediately. Put a canister in the front window, see what we get.
Jessica Dunlap, 19 years of age, no prior arrests. And she's the daughter of J.R. Dunlap. As in Dunlap advertising? That's right. Every other billboard from here to Sacramento, blame him. Hmm. She claims she went to the house to meet her friends or comrades. That's all she'd tell us, other than she kept quoting the Geneva Conventions on POWs. That figures. Well, the van was totally gutted, absolutely fried. There's just no way that the lab's gonna pull prints out of this one. Hmm. What about ballistics? Yeah, they're checking on it now. You guys ready for this? Hey, where's Pip? She's with the girl's father. My other daughter, Tina, is meeting me here. I'd like to leave a message for her. The desk will send her down, Mr. Dunlap. What did Monica say when she heard I was here? I don't think she knows you've come. If you'll just sign this and have a seat, I won't be long. All right, Mr. Tyrell. Now, could you back up and fill these men in? How far back, sir? To the beginning, Mr. Tyrell. I was telling Captain Parks that the PCU, probably no more than a dozen people, first came to our attention up in Oregon last fall when they assassinated a supposed snitch. As it turned out, the man wasn't, but that didn't seem to phase the group. Since then, they've been moving down the coast, carrying out a series of bombings and bank robberies, three that we know of for sure. Tell me something. All those papers you got there, is this anything about a cop? A cop named Stansky, Jim Stansky. What happened to him last night? Look, admittedly, a mistake was made. Damn right, it was a mistake. But let's get something straight. That mistake led to a cold-blooded murder of a cop. Crowley, I don't have to stand here right, and take hold that it. kind of... Hold it! Now listen to me and listen good. Like it or not, you better get used to each other because the way the Bureau and the Department see it, either both of you are in this operation or both of you are out. Don't let your badges get too heavy. Understood? Huh? All right. Now, Mr. Tyrell, would you care to try it again? I'm Sergeant Anderson. I'd like to clear up a couple of things. I'm not saying anything more until they appoint me a lawyer. That's up to you, Monica. But you might want to think of something to say to your father. He's waiting outside. Uh, I can't talk to him now. Can't you just tell him I'm okay and I suggest you tell him. crazy for nearly a year, you know that? I'm sorry, Daddy. You didn't call, you didn't write. I couldn't. Why not? Honey, why not? It's okay, that's all right. Everything's gonna be okay, because I'm gonna take care of you, you understand that? You gotta help me now, you gotta tell me the truth about all this. Are you really mixed up with this gang? Or... I can't say anything. You shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have come, I love you, honey. Tina's on her way here. I don't want her here either. There's no reason. Tell her her baby sister said not to bother. Uh, I gotta go now. Honey, no. Don't you cut me off like this. Don't you walk out of here without even talking to me. All right, I'll talk. I exist. I am. I'm me. I always have been. I always will be. Me! I know that, darling. Daddy, please let me go! Stansky was hit twice. Forensics pulled 12 more slugs out of his car. All two, two, threes. The inside of his van was embedded with grenade fragments. So it looks like they blew it themselves. Hi, right, guys. Hey, Pepper. How'd it go, Pat? It didn't. She's scared and she's not talking. How hard did you push her? Terrell spent all night pushing her and got nowhere. I just stood in the wings. Did you get a reading? Well, she's a kid who's gotten herself involved. I don't want to hear about what a kid she is. 
Now, she's only a couple of years younger than Stansky, whose brass plaque has gone up down the hall, Pepper, 22 years old. Well, it's a drag for all of us, Bill, that's for sure. But what are we gonna do about it? Yeah. Okay, sometime within the next couple of days, the feds are gonna have the girl released on her own recognizance. That's after Terrell and his people have leaked word that she's snitched off her former comrades. Yeah, well, that's like hanging a bullseye on her. Yeah, nobody knows that better than she does. And faced with that, the feds figured that uh, maybe she'll do a 180 and turn state's evidence. Or at least uh, draw the group out where we can get to them. Before or after they get to her. It's our job to see that that doesn't happen, Sergeant Anderson. Joe? Yeah. I want you to work with the feds. Get everything you can on the PCU, underground the whole shot. Got it. Pete? Pete, you're gonna get very funky. Me? Funky? <laughs> Anything, you know, 12 52. Yeah, this is 52. Joe, what's happening? Your lousy girl just came to work at the store. A redhead in Farmer John. Thanks. Well, you ready to catch a crook? Yes, sir. Uh, investigator. Investigator, that's nice. Well, we suspect never heard anyone. <laughs> Feel free. That's a loosely used word these days, isn't it? Free. I just can't leave the country Mr. that far. all the judge told me. Now, please, let us through. Honey, your Mr. car's Mr. outside. You follow me home. Huh? I can't come home now. Monica, enough! Dad, you'll be harassed and... Miss Dunlap, there's an article in the Wildfire Express that states that you've started briefing the FBI... That's your garbage! Associates I have some things I have to take care of. What things, Monica? damn it! Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I got here as fast as I could. I told you not to come here. Monica, I want to help you. You can't. I told you, Tina. Miss Dunlap. Miss Dunlap. Miss Dunlap, the article in the Express. Chocolate ones are mine. You can have the coconut. <sighs> OK. I was short with you the other day. Maybe you're right about the Dunlap girl. I don't know. Yes, I do know. She's in tight with a piece of you, and she's guilty as hell. You tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. I'll tell you, you're wrong. Yeah, what else do you want to tell me? OK, with all her radical talk, she's in deep conflict. Oh, a mixed up rich kid. You're right. She is. She Don't is. Very label it all. I hate labels. Rich. Now, stop labeling. Really... Listen, I spent the time with her. She's strong, very strong. You get the feeling that she could be very effective at what she does. And yet, that strength is covering something that's I don't know, a wound, a deep, raw, vulnerable wound. Now, I can't wrap it up, but I did see all of that. That's what Terrell says. He just says she's crazy. You know, Parks is right. You two had better get yourself together on this thing. We're a great team, are we? John Terrell, a mechanical man. And Wild Bill Crowley, the street fighter. Both of you pretty good looking. If I had a choice... Yeah? Yeah. Well, I never did dig robots too much. Your flattery is overwhelming. I checked this one out. He's got four kids. Here we go.
What was that, safe? That was out. They really close ranks, don't they? That's the only way they can survive. to go. I know you don't agree, but I can't help feeling sorry for her. Finally, she scored. You know who that was? That was her sister. I've seen pictures of her in the fashion magazine. You're kidding. I know it was. If that's her sister, she's gonna be here for a while. Listen, first thing tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. I want you to hit Judge Primarily for wiretap authorization. Judge Parmalee, why me? Come on. You know why you. The way he looks at you, those beady little eyes every time you walk into All the right, courtroom. All right, already, okay. Morning, ladies. What's happening? It's on the poster. Two bucks. That's pretty heavy. Where you guys flying, Algeria? That's a joke. Well, I got myself set up at this uh, rooming house on 8th, and dig this, the creep who runs it, <laughs> he calls it the Waldorf West. Mm. And I'm looking for a home. Maybe you're looking too hard. Just who are you? Name's Jeffers. And, uh, I checked the FBI for my file. Two bucks. Yeah, I remember. Sure I can't talk you down any? All right. Thank you. Is that the guy? Yep. He's been hanging around for the last couple of days trying to get connected. He says he's from back east. He says a lot of things. You be careful here. Look, we're checking Monica out this afternoon. Make the call. Give her plenty of space. If she's clean, make contact. She brings the heat with her. Well, we do what we have to. Man, this is getting paranoid. I mean, we don't know if she even did any of that stuff. We've got to listen to her first. You two had a thing for each other, didn't you? What's that got to do with it? If she brings the heat with her, we do what we have to. OK, Jack? Gin. we got to be cheating. That adds up to $3,460. Deducted from what you owe me. Spoil sport. Yes? Hi, Monica. This is Jan. Long time Terrell? to see. Yeah. Contact. If she makes a move, we got her. OK, we'll run parallel. Keep us advised of any changes of direction. She's moving.
Alright, freeze. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. You do exactly as I tell you. Very slowly, I want you to take your left hand and then sling that rifle with your left hand. Very slowly. Let's go. Easy. PCU has not yet been identified, though investigators are cross-checking his fingerprints and dental charts in an attempt to discover his identification. Meanwhile, members of the FBI and local police will say nothing about the dead man except that... All right! Jack went down hard today. Just like any one of us if that's what it takes. So now we move on them until we make them know what we're all about. We've come too far. We've accomplished too much. If we just sit here mourning his death, we're wasting his life. Lloyd? I want a team to check out this power substation at Wildwood Canyon. How much plastic would it take to blow it? Russ, watch the Brandon Street station. Gauge the manpower of each shift. Jan, get close to this dude who calls himself Jeffers. I think he's undercover. And if he is, I want to know exactly what he's after and who he's working for. And then I want to hit him. Dr. Jack Matoff, please report to the third floor nurse's station west. Dr. Paul Sigwood Day, room 3 Evening, Mr. Dunlap. Paul Sergeant, I, I want to thank you for what you did today. How is she? Well, the doctor says she's going to be fine, thank God. I don't understand it. Something uh, goes wrong. Something happens, and uh, you just uh, you just lose them. Excuse me. Dr. Frank Gleskin, room two two four, please. Dr. Frank Gleskin. How are you feeling? Can we talk? We really don't have anything to talk about. I'm sorry I was such a mess back there. Well, that's something. Monica, PCU probably thinks you tried to set them up. Which is exactly what you wanted, right? They send you in here so we could have a nice girl-to-girl -girl talk. You've got it all figured out and filed away, haven't you? Okay, let's break it down to the basics. Your old friends tried to kill you once, and they'll try it again unless we stop them. Now, who called you tonight? I don't know. Did you get a look at the man with the rifle? Who might have drawn that assignment? I guess they, uh, drew straws. Well, we just got the word. The boy who drew the straw was Jack Benjamin. Middle class background. High school track team, tour in Vietnam. You know the story. You knew him, too, didn't you? Hmm. 
No, look at it, Monica. Look at it. It's just as much a part of it as the phrases and the slogans. Sometimes the people's revolution and armed struggle really comes down to a boy on a slab and a late night call to his folks in Ohio. Now, if we don't get some help, the same thing is going to happen to you. I, uh... I can't tell you anything. Can't? Just tell me this. Is it loyalty? Or is it fear? I don't know. Now, just leave me alone. No. I'll leave you with that. Yeah, I am at the hospital. I just got here. Yeah. Pep. Yeah, she's here now. I'll talk to you later. Sorry I'm late. I just got here. Oh, that's all right. Gotta go with the girl. Sometimes I think I'm getting through and others. I just don't know. Pete just phoned down, said that he heard something's coming down, only he doesn't know what, when, where, or who's involved. Well, I'm tired. You look tired. <clears throat> You let old Bill buy you a cup of coffee. We'll talk about the girl, okay? You know, this group, we gotta do more than put on funny hats and infiltrate. You really gotta be one of them. That's it, Bill. You have to be one of them. Sarah Ann Hoffman, radical leader of the 60s, anti war, anti establishment, and finally, any anyone who wasn't fighting for the revolution. Then a police headquarters in Connecticut goes up in smoke. Hoffman and the others go underground. It's the only published photo ever taken of her. She was caught and talked to the feds about her underground contacts in exchange for a new identity. So word went out that she jumped bail and fled to Cuba. So she's known and she's respected. But she hasn't been seen since the bombing. And she is East Coast. I don't like it. And I'll tell you why I don't like it. You'd have to go in totally clean. No wire, no mic, nothing. Besides, you don't even look like this Hoffman broad. Not enough. Look at the picture. Look how grainy it is. She's got glasses on. It could be Garbo. I'm looking at the picture. You... What if one of our little friends knows Miss Hoffman? Have you thought about that? Bill, that's a very slim chance. When Hoffman was in the underground, Jan, Alonzi, and the others were still in high school. No, I don't like it. That's it. Well, you may have to like it. Pete's spinning his wheels, and we're standing still. And with Monica out of the picture, I say we can swing it. I guess you didn't hear the boss say he didn't think it was a good idea, right? I heard the boss. I just didn't hear the boss come up with a better idea. Hey, hi. Hey. How you doing? All right. Well, I finally got myself a real pad. Oh? Mm-hmm, and I was... Wondering. You were, were you? No, it's not what you think now. What? Well, you have wheels and I don't, and uh, mm -hmm. I got some stuff I want to move out of my place, and I thought maybe later on, if you're not too busy, uh... I'll be right with you. All right, beautiful. Where are the guys? They're on their way back from Brisa's. When they get here, tell them I'm with Jeffers there, his pad, 8th Street, and it's called the Waldorf West. You gotta be kidding. I'll stall him. If you're ever so humble, there's no place like a dump. You could have survived. Sure. My cockroaches were doing fine. I'll go get my stuff. Don't rush it. I don't mind being away from the store for a while. Well, I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. You know who this dude was? I'm not with him, I swear! Who are you? Sarah Hoffman. Hmm. Twelve 
by 50. This is 12 by 50. I guess she bought it, John. Sergeant, what are you asking me we for? We can't get anything from you, Does hey, the PCU have anything to do with today's shooting? Is it true that really? Monica named every member of the gang? I can't what comment on... What about security? Is it Sergeant, being beat up? Mm. We hear rumors that Sarah Hoffman's involved in all of this. Is she? Yeah. Woodward, guys, I'm sorry. I just can't comment on that. Hey, no comment or to help Pepper keep her cover. If the PCU waits for the morning papers... All right, about this Jeffers. Again? Again! He's the snitch who turned me over to the feds. I left Cuba a couple of years ago. I've been tracking him down, finally spotted him. Conveniently out here in California. I told you, Stark. I've been looking for you people, too. I was tired of hiding, being nothing, doing nothing. I heard about your group, the work you've been doing, taking up the cause again. I came here, was told to contact Jan here in the bookstore. But you didn't. I saw her with Jeffers. What was I supposed to do about that? He was a snitch, Nat. I know what was happening. I was there. She shot him. It happened. It still doesn't mean she's Sarah Hoffman. We don't know anything else about her except she says she's Hoffman. I'll call the morgue. If she really nailed this creep, there'll be a drawer down there with his name on it. Strip her down and search her. You don't mind. Hey, Joe, you went home. What are you doing? Well, I told Harry I'd make a night of it. Anything from Pepper? No, not a word. Hmm. What are you reading? Oh, I, sir, I was, uh, it's, uh, one of those underground books by Alonzi and Stark. Well, that's funny. I don't see any blood dripping from the pages. You know, every once in a while I come across a line or a paragraph. It actually makes sense. I myself saying, yeah, right on. I mean, they want the same thing we do. No poverty, no pollution. Jobs for everybody. Don't tell me they made a convert. No, they just made me matter. Because you're right. Each page is dripping in blood. Every page covered with lust. Lust for violence. Why is that, Joe? Huh? In my opinion, my great wisdom, let on me. Yeah. You know, deep down inside, Bill, people are scared. They're afraid that no one will touch them, no one will notice them, no one will hear them. And they take those fears and turn it into terror for others. I mean, I saw it when I was a kid coming up in my neighborhood. I mean, there were a lot of a lot of wrongs in that place. And we tried to right them fast. And some of us did what scared people all over the world are doing right now. Killing. Killing. And killing some more. Joe, when did you become a cop? Well, and then there were others, like myself, who was, who was pounded over and over again in their heads. Thou shalt not kill. You religious, Joe? Hey, come on. What are we, precinct philosophers? Can I get you a coffee? Yeah, that sounds like a winner. You buying? Yeah, cream, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Why don't you make it black? I hear that's beautiful. Hey, look, Bill. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Oh, yeah, I sure so. Cool. 
The only problem would be the Dunlap girl. She was in the hospital under wraps. So. Dr. Mansfield, report to X-ray. Good morning. Girl's missing, Joe. Where could she have gone? Everybody shut her up. Hi. You sure you weren't followed? No, I don't think so. I rented a car. I talked to everyone you told me to, and if they wouldn't talk, I just gave them the numbers. But you don't think those people are gonna call? I don't know, but I've got to try and clear myself with them before they try and kill you again. Oh, Monica, this is insane. Why don't you go back and ask for protective custody? You mean a holding cell in a railroad trial? They think I'm a snitch. How long do you think a snitch lasts in or out of prison? Hey, I'm sorry. Let's just wait it out a little longer. If nothing happens, then I'll go back and take my chances. Mr. Dunlap, we got an APB out on both girls in their cars. No, we're gonna find them. Nothing's gonna happen to them. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Mr. Dunlap, please, don't worry, will you? Don't worry. Pepper's on the inside. Monica's probably got her sister out trying to make contact with the group. They got 24 hours on us, we got nothing. I say, don't worry. Yes, ma'am, it's not going. I'll be at Terrell's if you guys need me, okay? Hug it. It's probably for me anyway. Yeah. Now, this is Royster. Oh, really? Uh huh. Thank you very much. That was Barnes from the morgue. Just got a call from uh, the Bulletin about my recent death. Something is, nobody from the Bulletin made the call. And after the war council in Flint, Jane Brenner, Trish Wright, and I formed a collective in New York. What happened to them? They were infiltrated by a pig. He went to the grand jury. They were sent away. And your father's a stockbroker. Tax lawyer asking it again is not going to change. Monica Dunlap. My opinion? They set her up. Stay with it. OK, let's take it again. Everything checks out. Her background, the dead cop. You got any doubts? Contact online. What? All right. Sarah. We welcome you to fight with us. Yes? Monica? Uh-huh? Monica, this is Russ. We have a lady here who calls herself Sarah Hoffman. Hoffman? Yeah, she dropped in out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Well. She wants to meet you. Can you meet with us? Right. We're at the top of Pine Canyon Road. OK. I'll meet you at the bottom of the road. All right. The PCU. I've got to meet them now. Monica, this could be another trap. I'm already trapped. The cops almost got me killed by using me, and they're not above trying it again. Oh, Monica, it wasn't the police who tried to kill you. It's those people you're dealing with, those gun-toting maniacs. Couldn't you even think of going back? Because if I don't, if I back out now, I might as well have snitched. I might as well be dead. Don't you understand that? No, I don't. Dad's right. I don't understand anything about you anymore. Tina, I'm in trouble, and I want out. And I'm going to get out. But it has to be my way. 
Now, and I mean right now, Terrell. You gotta have your man grab Monica before she blows Pepper's cover. I can't do it, Crowley. He's traveling clean. He's not gonna contact us again until he pinpoints the path. Yeah. I'll get every house in the obvious area which has been rented within the last two months. Crowley, yeah. Royster. Yeah, Pete. What do you got? Tina Dunlap called and she gave me two things. Monica mentioned Hoffman and also Pine Canyon Road. I'll meet you at the bottom of Pine Canyon. Okay, we'll meet you there. This may be it. Terrell, let's get it together, okay? You're on. What do you got on Pine Canyon Road? through to Terrell. Well, you're really wiped out, aren't you? I need some sleep. Wait till Monica gets here before you crash, will you? I want you to meet her. She's on her way. Okay, we got four recent rentals on Pinecrest. How recent? There's no way to tell. You just picked up Pete. I think we found it. It's in a cul-de-sac of Pine Canyon. The Dunlap girl is walking up the street right now. Come on, Dunlap's here. Hey, she wants to meet you. Meet Sarah Hoffman. Hello, Monica. She's not Sarah Hoffman. She's a cop. What, is she crazy? I'm telling you, the night I was in the hospital, she... Either she's crazy or they got to her. Nat, maybe she is crazy. She was crazy enough to kill that cop. I had to do that. He had us. With the load we were carrying, and he was radioing in our license. I had to do it! Listen to me! She's a cop! Occupants of the house on the hill... You have no means of escape. Throw down your weapons and you will not be harmed. We've got him. Let's wait him out. Hey, look, Terrell, you got to do something. Now, look, now, Pepper's up there. If we wait for them to make a move, we're taking too much of a chance. We got to make a move. Now, give me and the guys a chance to get up around the house. I don't want to war. No, listen to me. I don't think you want another house full of dead martyrs. Now, let me do it my way, will you? All right, go ahead. Let's go. Okay, hold your fire. Hold your fire, repeat. Hold your fire. While you were questioning me, they came up on us. Well, let's not wait. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Boston could stand some support. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Don't even try to figure it. 